Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Converting text between different character encodings, such as UTF-8 and ISO-8859-1, is a common task in Java programming. Below is a tutorial that explains how to perform this conversion, along with code examples. Hashtag 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 understanding character encodings. 1 UTF-8, this is a variable length character encoding for Unicode. It can represent any character in the Unicode standard, which includes virtually every character from all languages and many symbols. 2 ISO 8859-1, also known as Latin 1, this encoding can represent the first 256 Unicode characters. It covers most Western European languages but does not support characters from languages outside the scope, such as Cyrillic or Chinese characters. Hashtag 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 when to convert. You may need to convert UTF-8 to ISO 8859-1 when. You're dealing with legacy systems or databases that only support ISO 8859-1. You need to generate data in a specific format that requires ISO 8859-1 encoding. Hashtag 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 how to convert UTF-8 to ISO 8859-1 in Java. You can convert between these encodings in Java using the string class and the getBytes method. Below are the steps. 1. Convert the UTF-8 encoded string to a byte array. 2. Create a new string from the byte array using the desired encoding, ISO 8859-1. Hashtag 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 code example. Here is a simple Java program that demonstrates how to convert a UTF-8 encoded string to ISO 8859-1. Hashtag 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 explanation of the code. 1. Import statements we import the necessary classes for character encoding. Two main method, we define a UTF-8 string that contains an emoji. Three conversion method. We convert the UTF-8 string to a byte array. We then create a new string from the byte array using the ISO 8859-1 char set. For output, finally, we print both the original UTF-8 string and the converted ISO 8859-1 string. Hashtag 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 important note. When converting from UTF-8 to ISO 8859-1, any characters that are not representable in ISO 8859-1 will be lost. In the example above, the emoji, smiling face with smiling eyes, will not be correctly represented in the ISO 8859-1 string, leading to potential data loss or incorrect representation. Hashtag 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 conclusion. This tutorial has provided you with a basic understanding of how to convert between UTF-8 and ISO 8859-1 in Java. Remember to always consider the implications of character encoding conversions, especially when dealing with characters outside the target encoding's range.